Hi guys, Mark Harris. I'm at OKM's headquarters in Altenburg, Germany, and today we're going to run through a complete scan with the EXP 6000. We're going to use the test bed here that OKM uses to um, quality check every device before it ships out. We have a metal pipe that's buried in this sand field. So we're going to go through with a super sensor and do a 3D ground scan and we're going to find it. You're going to see it on the screen of the controller here. We're going to transfer it to a laptop so that you can see it in the visualizer 3D. And then we're taking it from there and we're going to show you what it looks like under the ground. So the complete process, you're going to see the scan, you're going to see the results on the controller, you're going to see what it looks like on the Visualizer 3D Studio, and then you're going to see what it looks like in the ground. So here we go. Hi guys, we just finished the scan and we're going to take a look at it. You can see it on the control screen. So here you can see that we've got exactly what we were looking for. We found the pipe, it's in the scan field, it looks good. We're going to take this, put it into Visualizer 3D Studio and take a look at it there and then give you guys a picture of what that looks like and then show you what the pipe looks like. Hi everyone, Mark here. Today I'm going to cover a tip on how to transfer your scan files from your EXP 6000 controller to your OKM laptop. So, first step is to turn the controller on. You do that by pressing the round knob to the right here. For about three seconds, you'll see the OKM logo comes on as purple, and then it cycles through other colors as, it's, um, as the system is booting up. When the system's booting up, you see the OKM logo, the EXP 6000, and now we'll get the main menu screen. It's going through the boot up process. You see the logo again, and here is the main screen. You can see all of our um, scan modes are grayed out, and that's because the telescoping arm isn't powered on, and so those scan types, those modes aren't available. What is available here is the File Explorer. So you press on the File Explorer icon here, and you'll see that the, all of your recent files will come up, will show here, and then across the top you've got the um, favorites, your um, select all, clear all. The icon here in the middle is the USB icon. It's not showing anything now because we don't have a USB drive connected. So the next step is to connect the USB drive. You can, it's a, you can use a blank drive or you can use the drive that comes with your OKM equipment that contains your, um, this has your Visualizer 3D Studio software on it regularly. You can use this drive. So you plug the drive into the back of the unit here, like so. 
So now the drive is plugged in, the system will recognize it. And if we come back to the control screen, you can see that now the USB drive is selected. So this is a scan that we did yesterday. We select that with the box here. And you can see we've got the check mark. We'll do um, another one as well, just to show you the, how to do multiple units or multiple files. And then we'll go here, press the USB drive icon, and then it asks us, do you really want to uh, transfer those files to the USB storage? We hit yes. And then it transfers the files. So here you can see we've made the transfer. Now all of those files that we selected are on the USB drive. We remove the USB drive and you can see back on the main screen that the USB drive icon has disappeared again. So that tells us that the, um, the USB drive is not connected. So now we move the controller to the side and we take the USB drive and insert it into the USB port here on the um, side of the laptop. And so now we'll be able to transfer the files to the laptop using File Explorer, or you can even um, select the USB drive from the Visualizer 3D Studio. So here you can see the process, quick and easy, very efficient, moving the files from your EXP 6000 to your laptop so that you can analyze them in Visualizer 3D Studio. We've taken the file, the scan file that we did with the EXP 6000 and we've transferred it into Visualizer 3D to see exactly what it looks like in the test field. So I've got two images here. We've got the image that, we, that you can see on the controller and you can see here the difference in clarity between the controller and the Visualizer 3D. They're both very similar, but you can see there's some additional post-processing that Visualizer 3D Studio does that's not done in the controller. That's why you're always best served to analyze the uh, scan files in Visualizer 3D Studio, you've got more options, you've got more control, and you can see more data there. The controller is a great way to see in the field ex what the general idea of the field, the scan field looks like, but Visualizer 3D gives you the final idea. So what we can see here is we have a strong positive signal that's red, it's right on the edge, we've got a strong blue signal, that tells us that we have a ferromagnetic uh, metal target in this area. So now we're going to go and dig it up.